In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to set up a free low-resolution download. This is if you have the high-resolution subscription and you want your clients to be able to go in and order a free low-res file that's perfect for web use. So to get started, head over to your Setup tab, click your Sizes and Sets page like I already have. At the bottom of this page, there will be a section that says Print Sets. Go ahead and click Create New. Change the print set type over to Instant Image Download. Give your download a name, and you can add in a description letting them know that they'll be receiving the links in their email receipt, how long the download will stay open, and how many times they can download their image. We'll go over those steps as well further on in the video. So moving on, downloadable image size. The largest size it can be is 10, 24 pixels, or smaller. And we'll go over in a separate video how to offer free high-res files if you want to do that as well. You can upload a copyright release PDF if you have one, check or uncheck sales tax, check or uncheck include and shipping calculations. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this. We usually only see this checked if a photographer plans on including something that they're going to be mailing to the client, say a copy of the print or a disc, anything like that. So go ahead and click save. That has been set up, so now I'm going to head over to prices and shipping. Click edit for my template. At the bottom, put in zero dollars. And this is only available in the original color. It will not be converted to black and white or sepia since the system just sends them whatever color you upload to the event. So now that I've added in that, click save. And to see how it looks, I'm going to go to my storefront, open my event, click on an image. From the print option menu, I'm going to select the download, add it to the cart. And when the client checks out, they'll be sent a link in their email receipt, and they'll also see a link in their order summary, which I'm going to show you right now. This is a copy of the order summary that they see on the previous version of the storefront. They see their image name, below that, the print set name that you've assigned to the download, and a link that says download now. When they click this, they can save it to their computer or device, whatever they're using for ordering. And on the current version of the storefront, go into the event, click on an image, Click buy this image, select the download, add it to the cart, and go through the checkout process. And I'll show you a copy of the receipt people see when using this version of the storefront. So on this receipt, they see the image name, below that the name that you've assigned to the download, and a red link saying download that they can click to instantly save the image to their computer or device. Or if they don't have time, or maybe they're at work or something, they can just access it through their emailed receipt to save it at a later date. And now to determine how long those links stay open and how many times someone can save the image, go back over to the account, open up the preferences page, expand the storefront miscellaneous options, and scroll down to the sections labeled instant image download timeframe and instant image download limit. In the timeframe area, you can determine how long the links are going to stay open. And in the download limit, you can determine how many times the client can download their image. So you can adjust those sections, leave them at the default, and if you do change them, just go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Update Preferences. And that is how you set up the free low-resolution download. If you have any questions, email us at support at instaproofs.com.